unaccept of the over two hours leak tape purported to be the national chairman of the opposition National Democratic Congress, Ufusu Ampofu's voice that went viral and cited some displeasure with the ruling party. Yes. Because they have been trained, they have a reputation to protect. You are going to bring people on the streets, you put police uniform on them, and you are giving the police bad name. So there are several police people who are not happy. And you see, it is also shifting the support of the police back to us. Because you know, in 2016, the police were against us. In what seems as an expected reaction by the new patriotic party, Communication director Yao Boabeng as someone described the leaked tape as a diabolical scheme by the current leader of the NDC, former President John Dramani Mahama, to lead a violent action to win back power in the 2020 elections. Confirmation has come from the current NDC leadership itself of plans to actively weaponize their political party and to put it on a path literally to becoming an internal terrorist organization. You heard them. A coordinated plan of kidnappings, fiscal and verbal attacks, and infiltration of the security services. Kidi Mahama intends to lead a violent extremist organization in his quest to become leader of this nation. For what purpose and to what end? The leaked tape purported to be the voice of Samuel Ofosu Ampofo, national chairman of the NDC, in a meeting with some party communicators as believed to have taken place after the bloody violence that characterized the Ayawasu West Wogan by-election. Appalled by the situation, the new patriotic party questioned the integrity of the party including former president John Dramani Mahama. Yabwa Beng Asamwa further reiterated that the country may be in peril if the matter is not resolved, adding that the actions of the NDC is a threat to Ghana's stability. Don't forget that the national chairman of the NDC, Mr. Fusuan Pofu, is a serving elder of a much respected Christian congregation in this country. And he is the one revealing the trend of lies and violence that the NDC intends to unleash on this country in the coming few days. Trust is at the heart of electoral politics and leadership. The deliberate insincerity and mendaciousness of the current NDC leadership, including the newly elected presidential candidate who initiated Boot for Boot, calls into question whether they are fit for purpose. The governing party is therefore calling for the resignation of the national chairman of the opposition NDC, Samuel Ofusu Ampofo.